Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm doing the much requested wedding makeup look. And for this, I have the right makeup partner. I have collaborated with Tata Click Palette. You all know this is now my go-to place to shop for makeup. They have amazing brand collections. They have so many variations and everything is customized to what I need. And they have so much expert advice. So for today, we have an expert on board who will be doing my makeup and will be taking you all through the looks. I'd love to have Mansi here, who's a trainer from Mac Cosmetics India. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hi, guys. So it's Mansi, your trainer from Mac Cosmetics India, and today I'm going to be doing on Sarah some fun, glamorous, exciting makeup looks. Yes. And since it's wedding season. All of you are going to absolutely love it. Yes, I am really excited to see what goes with yellow because yellow is my favorite color. It's like oh, wow. haldi is like my favorite portion. So we are first going to do something which is day and then like doll it up and make it more glamorous for the night time. So what exactly do you have in mind for this? So since it's your favorite color yes. and it's haldi, <laughs> we're going to be doing a daytime haldi look. Soft glam on the eyes, okay. you know, glowing blush, neutral lips. And then we transition into like a really glamorous Sangeet look, which is okay. going to be like super glam. So very reception appropriate evening outfit. Cocktail, of here. Sangeet. Cocktail, Sangeet. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Yes. So this is going to be the go-to look for y'all. So let's begin. So I'm going to be starting with my favorite product. Can't do without this. Absolutely. So that's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Original. Now I'm going to spray it on your face and going to feel the magic. Mm. So spray loads of the Fix Plus before you begin any makeup. And the best part about this is that this is absolutely alcohol free and it's infused with like green tea, chamomile, cucumbers. I'm sure you're feeling the whole soothing. Very relaxing and refreshing. Exactly. And hydrates your face and prepares your skin for makeup. Okay, so I'm going to be using the MAC Stroke Cream in pink light and we're going to be putting it all over the face to massage it very nicely into the skin. And prepping is super, super important yes, for absolutely. having the most flawless space. Absolutely. It's so strange, a lot of the times we forget the neck. Exactly. So <laughs> it's very important to put your moisturizer, in this case the stroke cream, all over the neck because whenever we're doing foundation, we will get it down Correct. till the neck. So it just looks all one yeah. color. Mm. Yes. Look at that glow. Amazing, right? Glowing from within, guys. <laughs> Everybody should feel like I woke up like this. So, Sarah, next, I'm going to be using the Studio Fix Liquid Foundation in NC43.5. So, the best part about the Studio Fix Liquid is that it's 24 hour long wearing. So, this is absolutely amazing because you wouldn't have to worry about touching up your makeup again and again. Mm -hmm. And this works for all skin types. Something I forgot to tell you all in the beginning, there's going to be a giveaway at the end of today's video. So don't forget to stay tuned till the very end. All the offers, all the details, everything are also going to be mentioned in the description box for you all. Foundation looks really good. I love that it's like evened out my complexion. I love the look and finish of this foundation too much. Exactly. I love it too on you. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, next I'm going to be using the Studio Fix 24 hour concealer and the shade I'm using for her is the NW42. This comes with a dual applicator. Okay. If you were using more dabbing motions, it's going to give you more fuller coverage versus blending the concealer will give you a more sheerer finish. I really like how the base is looking. Amazing. This is like my ideal uh, base makeup. So Sarah, next I'm going to be using the Studio Fix Compact Plus Powder Foundation in the shade NC43.5. Basically using this to set your foundation and concealer in place. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is really, really important where to mattify because even if you're doing like a dewy skin, right? right. These areas that the T-zone especially. T-zone problem area. Like mm -hmm. the center forehead, around the mouth, this area next to the nose, you know, where we usually yeah. get oily. So I'm not really going to powder on the cheeks yet because there's something exciting coming up okay. for the cheek okay. area. Okay, so I'm not I want like the Bella Hari, Gigi Hari vibe. Okay, that's like the... I love the pulled cheekbone because I already have high cheekbones. So I'm going to be showing you a very nice trick to get that All right. flushed I'm cheek look. Forward to it. Or I really like how my face is looking right now. Like skin looks really skin-like and the complexion is very evened out. So this is exactly what I would do for myself too. So I like where we are headed. <laughs> but I want like some colour on my cheeks and I want like higher cheekbones. Uh -huh. So what do we need to do for that? <laughs> okay, amazing. So I have an awesome trick to show you. Okay. So I'm going to be using the Mocha lipstick. Mm -hmm. Okay, to create that amazing creamy blush. 
and along with it i'm going to be using again my favorite product which is the stroke cream in pink light so you can as well you know guys take it on the back of your hand like this mm -hmm. like a little bit and then what you can do is the mocha lipstick okay so actually like rub it on your hand i love this color it an amazing peachy you know undertone color do you see that the dewy blush the dewy yes. blush very natural so again how much of the stroke to use and how much of the lipstick depends on the intensity of the blush you know that Correct. you want if you want like a really sure color then use more of the strobe okay. okay so it just dilutes the color but if you want more intensity of the blush then use more of the lipstick, lipstick. Okay. yeah okay so i'm going to tap this strobe cream and mocha mixture that we've just created and the tip here again is just to be super super lightweight while you're tapping this because if you're too hard while you're doing that you don't want to get the base off correct it's it is a game changer the cheeks that you wanted blushed yes, out cheeks absolutely love it i love the glow that my skin is having right now just a tiny bit and again you can like take some off on your back of the hand so that there's not too much when mm -hmm. you put basically the areas that are the highest points right the cheekbones right. I'm going to use the stroke cream as a highlighter there. I'm going to be highlighting the center of the face okay. as well. So you can basically highlight the bridge of the nose. Mm -hmm. Little bit above the cupid's bow. Little bit center chin. Yeah, that's the stunning highlight on your face with the stroke cream. So I'm going to be using this neutral color first to create a nice eye shape for Sarah. And another you know tip to make the eyes look more elongated and more lifted which is what everybody wants mm -hmm. is basically when you're placing the color outside you want to place the color and just flick it up upwards okay okay so for the lids i'm going to be using the lighter color on the lids mixing it with a little bit neutral okay with the same brush this is for the lids right this is for the lids so we are going dark to light yes darker okay. on the crease and lighter on the lids all right and also because we have a glowing skin and like a really glowing cheek as well. Okay, so that's the nice eye shape. So I'm going to be using the mini kajal. It's a cute mini size, an amazing pink packaging. Thickness of the kajal is definitely a common query that we get a lot. It really depends on firstly how dramatic you want the look to be and also the eye space that you have on the eyelid. So I'm going to be smudging this kajal now with a pencil brush. fab that's a really nice way to add more definition Correct. yeah now for the lower lash line i'm going to go back with the flamboyant palette and we're going to be using these burgundies and browns yeah can you add that on the lower lash line okay now with the same colors the burgundy and the brown with the same brush which is going to be adding that little bit on the edges of the smoke patch mm -hmm. Give a more smoky eyeliner look. Did I love it? So next, I'm going to be using my most favorite Max Stack mascara. So whenever you're taking your mascara, remove the excess so it doesn't clump off on your lashes. Put it from the top lashes first, and then go from the bottom and upwards. So the final will give you the curled effect. So we've just done two coats of the Max Stack and. Honestly, the best one. So my choice of lipstick for you is gonna be the Whirl lipstick. Okay. And it's gonna be a stunning color with these cold up eyes. Have a look. Superb. So for the skin, of course, the final touch up mm. should be your with the Studio Fix powder in NC forty three point five, and touch up the under eyes and around the nose, which normally tends to get you know sweaty and oily, these areas. Mm -hmm. So that's your super easy to achieve, but yet glamorous. Very glam. But let me know in the comments how are you guys going to change this look? And now we are going to change this daytime very glamorous, very chic modern day vibe to a bold. and sangeet appropriate dancey dancey vibe and i'm going to change my outfit and be right back 
All right, so I've changed into this very nice bright lenga, red lenga, and uh, done a sleek ponytail. So we are evening ready. So what are we going to do to switch it up? Hundred percent. So we're going to add a lot of glitter on the eyes. All right, I love the sound of that. For the eyes, we're going to be adding loads of coal on the lower lash line, and for the same, I'm going to be using the in extreme dimension waterproof Mac Kajal. Going to intensify this in the waterline first, just on the outside corners. We can definitely go a little bit more smoky and smudge it with the pencil brush. So the palette that I'm going to use is the palette that we used in the Haldi look as well, the flamboyant palette. And I'm going to take the burgundy color, the brown and the burgundy mattes, again with the same brush, going with these two colors and just going above the coal pencil. So this helps to also lock the pencil in place, plus adds more smokiness, more like a diffused look. Right. Now comes the glitter. Right. I'm going to be using the Dazzle Shadow Liquid. Okay. In the shade Blinking Brilliant, just very gently on the eyelids. So just give it that few seconds that it dries, and then you can open your eyes. Go back with your Studio Fix right. Compact in mm -hmm. NC forty three point five, and then we touch up those areas okay. especially the t-zone so we're going to be powdering the cheeks as well so that the powder blush blends really smoothly mm -hmm. let's go with the powder blush so i'm using the desert rose powder blush from mac so i'm going to be using a powder brush always remove the excess before you directly put it on the yeah. face so you can start from the apples and then pull the blush upwards towards the temples Again, with very gentle pressure, would be ideal for a very seamless blush application. Looks amazing. So now to pop the highlighter, I'm going to be using the Soft and Gentle Mac highlighter, which is a cult, cult favorite. favorite. <laughs> yes. So look at that highlight. If you want more, you can also highlight a little bit above the arches of the brow as okay. well to you know give that seamless effect to the blush okay. and the highlighter is go back with the studio fix powder with the powder brush and we basically touch up this area which is where the blush and highlighter are ending okay. so that it just looks nicely blended into the cheeks with no like sharp edges powdered this area to make it look super super diffused Okay, so for the lips, last step, guys. Last step, I'm gonna be using the Mac Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dance with Me, and like you see, this is such a fantastic rose pink red. So what we're gonna do, since we have like a neutral lipstick on, right. we're just gonna dab it off with some sure. tissue. When right. you don't have time to remove your lipstick and go for another one, just take a tissue, dab off the excess, and mm -hmm. then you can apply a darker shade on. Again, you can line with the doe foot applicator, the tip of it, right. it's really sharp. So you right. can actually line your lip properly right. and then fill the color. I love this. Thank you so much, Mansi. Your hand is so good. Thank, Thank you, you for that. You look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, you saw how we went from a completely bare face to a soft, glam, haldi day look to an amazing, stunning, sangeet night look. And we've used just a few of our favorite MAC products. All of them are available on Tata Click Palette. So definitely do shop. And you can check them all out. They're all tagged in the products bar in my video. But also, don't forget to check out the exclusive offers that MAC is running on Tata Click Palette right now. So don't forget to like, comment, share this video and also shop on Tata Click Palette because five lucky winners will be the best shoppers and five winners who will engage on the video. So I will be announcing the winners of this giveaway one week from now on my Instagram as well as on my YouTube. Stay tuned for that. And we will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.